Is FFIE the new short squeeze everyone is rallying behind? Today's massive volume and this month's gigantic 3,000% move upwards definitely points to that being a big fat yes. I won't claim to be an expert on any of this though, even though I did text everyone super early alerts on this one. On May 14th, I texted the breakout of 9 cents on FFIE, well before it hit its high of 389. Nowhere else on earth can you get texts like this, a 3,894% move to the upside after receiving that text alert. Not unlike the time we texted you HOLO before it ran 4,100%. But getting back to FFIE and how it's squeezing and what we can expect next, we also texted you the additional breakout of 67 cents while it was already running hard. And then it continued to run another 475% from that text alert as well. You can get these amazing text alerts texted straight to your phone simply by clicking the link in my top pinned comment. But I only brag about all these alerts to show you with receipts that we are constantly in the right place at the right time. And FFIE does seem to be the next big squeeze candidate currently. But there's a massive caveat that you need to be aware of as well surrounding this one. A quick Twitter and Reddit search will show you a million people pumping this one to the absolute moon, which reminds me of AMC hold the line days. There's no shortage of people posting their losses and screaming hold. There is a double-edged sword though that I want to show some caution around. On one hand, it's uniting people and banding them together for a single cause and helping squeeze this puppy by buying up the stock and raising the price. But on the other hand, it's showing us exactly what happened to AMC after its meteoric run-up. On this channel, we also caught the AMC short squeeze very early on. We started covering AMC around $10 per share and it eventually ran to $72. But then it dropped off a massive cliff and everyone started posting the same exact screenshots down $131,000 in holding, down 60% in not selling, down 71% in buying more. But AMC never bounced back. It just kept falling. All of these people screaming hold and buy more are extremely reminiscent of what we saw with AMC. Foolish retail investor behavior in my own opinion. These are literally bag holders begging for other retail investors to save them by buying shares so that they can recoup some of their losses. If you think this man who is down $131,000 won't sell the first chance he gets, you're just in denial. A lot of these people screaming hold the line and buy more are down so massively in their positions that they need you to buy more and have any chance at all of recovering some of their massive losses. If no one buys this stock, they're out hundreds of thousands of dollars FOMOing into what they thought was the next big squeeze. And they were probably right it does appear to be going through a massive squeeze currently. I mean, it already ran over 3,000% from our first text alert, and today's volume is similar to the volume that day that it made that massive run up. As I'm filming this, we're already over 4X the daily average volume on this stock. The stock only averages 158 million shares traded daily, but it's over 500 million shares traded today already. More shares have traded today than currently exist on the entire float. This is indicative of something significant taking place, like a short squeeze. Stocks don't just shoot up 3,000%, fall 90%, then rise 100%. There's clearly some nefarious shit happening with this puppy, and I do believe it's squeezing a bit here. But after living through GME, AMC, HOLO, and all these other short squeezes over and over again, I've learned a very important lesson. Shorts do not have to cover. There is no punishment for not buying the shares that they sold short, even if they're naked shorted. This one does have a lot of publicly available data showing high short interest, but we also know that this publicly available data is underreported, reported incorrectly, reported late, and just plain manipulated. And not one person will be held accountable for any bad data. So everyone is sharing unreliable data. Even if this data is accurate in this case, it's still an unreliable source of information for us to use. So making a trading plan based on manipulated and misreported data is a bad idea in my own personal opinion. So I personally don't put much faith into trading off of this narrative. I instead prefer to focus on trading the technicals and looking for smaller windows of opportunity within the bigger picture. Even though we called HOLO and FFIE before they ran thousands of percent up in price, we didn't actually log thousands of percent in wins. We instead looked to take profits on the way up and not hold until some unrealistic price target. Most stocks do not go up thousands of percent in price. 
Therefore, it's silly to make your trading plan to hold that long. You will lose 99% of your trades if you hold that long. Tons of stocks do run 10, 20, and 30% up though. If you're always taking profits at a smaller price targets like that, your win percentage is likely gonna be way higher than simply holding and hoping that some smooth-brained apes on Reddit can band enough people together to bankrupt a hedge fund full of full-time traders who have access to the world's best and most accurate data and often insider information, allegedly. Although it's possible and has happened before, it's just not super likely. So I'll be the last person pumping the hold the line the narrative. But this one does reek of naked shorts and has all the telltale signs of being a squeeze candidate. So I'm still tempted to take a small position and risk it for the biscuit. With that said though, I think it's important to set some risk parameters if you choose to play this. I won't be going all in on such a risky setup. I won't be using any money that I'm not willing to lose. I'll be placing my buys near support zones or after breakout confirmations. I'll be using a trailing stop loss and taking profits on the way up. These are tried and true ways of trading stocks with technical analysis. There's no possible way of any of us knowing how high this can go, but you can make money off of the narrative and technical analysis. What do you think though? Can we bankrupt some hedgies on this one? How high do you think this will go? What prices are you holding out for? Do you already have a stop loss in place? And if not, what's your worst case exit scenario? Let me know in the comments down below. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. None of this is financial advice and nobody ever makes any money on my text messages. I am up over 364% on just that one play alone. Ignore that testimonial. I'm up about $25,000. Ignore that honest testimonial. That's just a one-off. Nobody else has ever made any money inside my community. And uh, I started with about 5,500 bucks and I turned it into a six figure account already. Okay, ignore that one too. He came in with a lot of experience and I know not everybody has as much experience as he did when he first came in. I made $3,800 so far, maybe a little. Okay, I need you to go ahead and ignore that one too. Although she didn't come in with any experience, she did apply a lot of dedication and effort into learning everything we have to teach. My first day, I was up $120 in my portfolio. Okay, I need you to ignore her as well. She also came in with no experience, but showed up every single day and committed her life to learning the skill. Ten minutes later, I pulled out with a $5,000 beam. Okay, ignore that one too. Although these are honest reviews, you're not supposed to look at these. I would not have been able to do this without Mike and Andrew's help. I've actually taken some of my earnings to go and buy property in North Carolina, and uh, I'm super happy with this program. These guys changed my life. You know what? Just form your own opinion and sign up with the link in my top pin comment. If you have not joined, I definitely recommend it.